Uh, my name is Benji and uh, welcome to another session of BMAX Academy where with Ms. Hema we'll be looking at a strategy. How to improve your grammar. What you should do and what you should not do. Okay? So let's keep it simple. Do's and don'ts. So the first thing I would say is get an idea of the law of the language. That is the fundamentals of grammar. It's very easy to get this. Just go online and type learn English grammar. Right? You will get websites that clearly indicate the different parts of English grammar. That's more than enough for anyone to understand the basic. Madam, in this regard, anything we should not do? We should not use any kind of formulas and we should not be static. Yeah. You cannot use a fixed approach to grammar because this is not mathematics. You cannot memorize a formula and you definitely should not memorize answers. Because you see in any English testing system, every year, every time they have the test, the words change. Even if one or two words change, your entire answer will be required to be different. So any answers you memorize will be useless. So you need to know how to connect your ideas using suitable English words in the proper grammatical structure. So therefore, if you don't remember or you don't know how English grammar works, you have to take the time and study the basics or the fundamentals. If you don't understand, there are plenty of free videos on YouTube. You should always go to the authentic materials as far as possible. But of course, there are limitations. Based on that, you can proceed. The authentic English materials are always available from Cambridge and Oxford. These are the two top institutions that will help you in learning English for the fundamentals of English grammar. But of course, you also need to listen to how English grammar is used. So what do you think, ma'am? How should we do that? I think we shouldn't rely on unreliable sources. And uh, we should be more confident. And uh, we shouldn't feel scared to speak the language too. Right. We should not be afraid to practice it. So how would you practice? So for instance, if you were to go to YouTube, you would find the English programming with authentic English, spoken English, through channels like BBC and CNN. It's available for free on YouTube. I'm talking about old programs. And this you can watch for free and practice speaking the way they speak because you can rewind and play it again. As far as reading and writing are concerned, then what do you think, ma'am? The best way is a newspaper, is it not? Yes, sir. The best way is a newspaper. Right. So you can read English newspapers. Right. So you will be able to get English newspapers, whichever country you're from, and that will greatly help you. Whether you want to read it online through an application, there are free applications for the newspaper through the mobile phone, as well as online, where they give free English articles which you can read. So, I think that's the first set of do's and don'ts, right? Yes. So, the next thing I would say is something to do with the strategy. How you approach once you have the fundamentals clear, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so ma'am, about the strategies, right? Assuming the student has the fundamentals, right? They know how the fundamentals work. What is the next step? I think they should practice more. Uh, it is not only that they should have the basics, but also they should practice it. If they don't practice, then nothing is going to happen. So, in the practical application aspect, you see grammar being used in the way people speak and also in the way language is written. So, when you are reading the paper, you would pay attention to this. Or when you are listening to English program, say for example, the English news program or English documentaries, or English, uh, what do you say, uh, reality shows. You could say they are using language in a very specific way. How they ask the questions, how they respond. And in all of these examples, you will be able to subconsciously learn the grammar. So if you're going to read the grammar textbook from beginning to end, it's going to be very boring and you will likely not remember a thing. But if you understand the fundamentals and then focus on developing them, through repeated 
exposure to English programming and English material, you will definitely be learning grammar without even realizing. Yeah. Now, you might be wondering, how can I practice without proper feedback? So, the incredible time that we are living in now, we have these devices, these smartphones available to us. And in your app store, especially the Android app store, you have free practice applications. Specifically, grammar applications that allow you to practice grammar through free exercises. Each element of English grammar will have separate exercises that allows you to become familiar with its use. It's completely automated. All you have to do is install the app, look for English grammar. I think the British Council has got a very good app, English grammar practice that is comprehensive. So you can use that and practice your grammar with the proper feedback. I think that's an important part of the strategy, right? Yes, yes, sir, yes. Sir. Why is feedback important? So if they don't have a proper, a proper person, like a qualified person to make them understand, then what is the need for them to learn English? Right. So you need to know when you are making the mistake. Why is that a mistake? And how you can avoid repeating the mistake. So the grammar application will tell you where the mistake is coming. And a qualified instructor will be able to help you by connecting it with the laws of grammar and telling you why this is a mistake. Yes, so that way, your proper use of grammar becomes reinforced. You are able to understand and apply yourself better. So the next thing is something to do with society. A lot of people have some social problems, right? Yes. The use of grammar. Yes. What is that? So I think uh, most of the people, 80% of the people are scared of speaking in English. That's because half of the society mocks them for speaking in English. Either it's because they make mistakes in grammar or I don't know why. Right. Whenever you set out to do something new, you can expect people who will make fun of you, who are opposed to you or simply try to discourage you. But remember, the people who achieve great things are the people who are consistent. You set a goal to learn a language. You need to apply yourself. You have the resources, the materials, and you need to find a qualified trainer. Somebody who is qualified to teach you English by either passing the standard exam that you're talking about or having a basic English language training qualification. And if you have all three, the only thing you need to do is be brave and be consistent. Brave because making mistakes is not the end of the world. Everybody learns by making mistakes. Whether you are old or young, the process of learning involves making mistakes. And learning from those mistakes and avoiding the repetition of those mistakes. That is the path towards perfection, improving yourself. The last and most important thing I would say is being consistent. A lot of people, I think, are not consistent. Don't you think that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do think like that. Yeah. The reason is, you, we would give them a lot of material for practice, right? We would say, come back with your questions. Come back with the problems you are facing. Make sure that you daily practice with English material, whether you are reading the paper or watching English programs. But how consistent are you? How much do you want to get the desired score in your exam? Remember, whatever your English language test that you are planning to take, it has a required score for you to achieve your objective. In order to get to that objective, you know the score you need to get based on their public criteria. And you need to keep practicing till you achieve that criteria in practice tests so that you know in the final test you can get that score. That's it. A simple strategy to improve your English graph. We encourage you to give us your feedback. If you have any questions or doubts, feel free to share. BMAX Academy always welcomes your suggestions.